So our very dear Brittany goes downtown Dallas today and walks up to people and says, if you're sick, do you take medication or do you take naturals? The response is amazing. I think you're going to like that. Uh, Dr. Deborah Bain is here. She is a pediatrician unlike any pediatrician. I wish I'd have known her 35 years ago when my kids were tiny, okay? But today she's going to address a problem from an 8-pound child to a 100-pound 5-year-old. What is with obesity in children today? She's going to address that. And then finally, how clean is the air in your home? Really? You and the cats and the dogs and your husband have all sorts of symptoms. It could be that air in your home. We're going to talk to Chris Chase from Pioneer. All that you're going to love. My name is Doug Kaufman. For the past 40 years, I've dedicated my life and even my career to finding the root cause of disease. Join me and a team of physicians, pharmacists, and scientists. And soon you too will know the cause. Okay, friends, Chris Chase from Pioneer uh, joins me today. Man, I enjoy these segments because every time Chris gets in his car and goes back to the airport, I will have had 10 seeds planted. I mean, I learned so much. The, the one thing I want to talk with you a little bit about today is why there isn't this huge interest that there is in bottled water in clean air. Listen to what the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, said. People with heart or lung disease, older adults and children are at greater risk of air pollution, which can cause illness. I don't get that. I don't believe it. I think people who are commonly exposed to it in their house, whether they're 17, 27, or 115, are going to succumb to a, uh, if it's a mold, this mold gets in your lungs and, and it can hurt you severely. We now know that. Um, Chris, let's touch for a second on that question I brought up. It fascinates me how I'm going to eat organic Granny Smith apples. I'm not going to eat regular, I'm going to eat organic Granny Smith apples, and I'll, I'll pay more for that. Uh, and yet, the people watching the show right now may be living, if, if history is any indication, Ruth and I sold our home of 21 years. We went out looking for a home out in this area of Texas for a new home four years ago, and nine of ten homes we went in, we couldn't breathe. Mold was that bad, and the realtors had no idea. So it strikes me as odd that Realtors, school teachers, physicians, or a respiratory therapists don't know about what we can't see, not in this room, but in many rooms, and that's mold. Exactly, and the, the thing that um, I guess I haven't done a good enough job of making this point is, is a lot of times um, your body's natural defenses against diseases or foreign objects or whatever coming into their in, into your body you know is to fight it off and sometimes it takes your body being inundated with pollutants to the point that it becomes cumulative and it, and your body gets you, you you got so much pollutants in your body that you, it overwhelms your 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 self defense mechanisms when you get to that point with a problem, health problem, it's probably not reversible. So, you know, if, if you want to take the position that your home is not polluted, then you really need to think about that because by the time that pollutant manifests itself into a specific disease, coronary problems, liver disease, arthritis or whatever, you, it's, you, your body's at a point where it can't reverse it. Mm, Chris, so do you want to wait? You know, that's, and, and how many of you are symptomatic? I had the guy across the street from me tell me one time that he spends $3,000 a year having his home clean by, you know, these cars pull up and these great gals get out and they clean his home. $3,000 a year. And I got to thinking, okay, that's surface cleaning. That's the cleaning you can see. There's another cleaning that none of us do, unless you own the Pioneer, and that is the invisible spores, the invisible bacteria, the, the animal dander, the dust, the dust mites, and so forth, and that's what you're talking about. 
Well, I'm talking about that, but you know, over the last, actually it, it directly correlates with these energy efficient homes that we've built. The incidence of asthma in kids has gone up by 30%. Now you tell me that that isn't associated with what your kids, your grandkids are being exposed to in these new homes, energy efficient homes. You got pollutants in there that are trapped and they can't, they, they can't get out. All they do is grow. You know what, until we had Berkeley, our grandson, um, we just, Evan and Katie, lived in a cool old home and we never thought twice about it. But when Berkeley was born, we bought another one of these <laughs> and put it in the house. There's something about small kids, you know, not being able to adapt to, in case, just, folks, this is an insurance policy. My friend spending $3,000 to have his carpets vacuumed and his windows cleaned and so forth. Um, a small fraction to keep this going invisible, no noise. We'll talk about the technology in a minute. There's something to this pioneer. How do I know? For 18, 19 years that we've known you and Lisa, we've had these units in our home. Every year, pop that out, put a new light source in, shh, keep in your bedroom, in your bathroom, in your den, and just plug it back in for a year, and it's really that simple. When we get back, I want to talk about, oh, I had a question for you when we get back from Facebook also. Don't go away. like it when you come in. Uh, it makes me feel good. It really does. I know when I go home, I've got a couple of these in my home. I've got one over in my office, folks. This is a, a must for you. Let's say you've got health problems. You have eye twitches, ringing in the ear, skin itchies, etc. You don't know what's causing it because you've run from doctor to doctor to doctor. Let's just say there is a pollutant that is filtering through the liver. You're inhaling it, and that's what it does. The, the immune system cleanses it from your body, and that might be contributing to your health problems. How are you going to know unless for a month you place this in your bedroom uh, or bathroom or living room and see if, in fact, that fixes it? I do a live show every couple of weeks here, and this question came up, and John, my producer, said, this is a good one for Chris. Deborah says, I've had asthma all my life. It turns out that water damaged buildings with mold was causing my symptoms. Now she's sick, she has asthma. Obviously, putting a unit in is going to minimize further exposure. Uh, what does she do? Well, <laughs> during construction and prior to construction, Lumber is exposed to the elements. Yep. So <clears throat> I submit to you that almost all buildings are water damaged. What I think she's referring to specifically is a leak in the roof or a leak somewhere that has, that has gotten bad enough where you have the visible evidence of mold. And <clears throat> you, you got to correct that leak and you got to clean up the, the surface mold. But the way mold grows and spreads is with mold spores, and they're li literally released up into the air, and that's the problem that you have living in a building like that is, is you're inhaling those mold spores. The Pioneer Air Treatment technology will dramatically reduce the level of mold spores that are in the home that you're inhaling. Mm -hmm. And folks, and Deborah, it, thank you for the question. It's one thing to listen to me. I just said, all you do is pull this out and put a new one in every year. Let me teach you how to do it. This is a great little one minute segment. Watch this. Hello, and welcome to the world of Pioneer. Today, I will be demonstrating how to change out your old lamp module. First, start by switching your unit to the off position. Next, remove the unit's power cord from the outlet. After removing the power cord, grab yourself a flathead screwdriver. Hold it at a 45 degree angle diagonally towards the floor and carefully guide it into the lamp module release hole. Press down on the end of the screwdriver and the lamp module will release. Remove the old lamp module and replace it with your new lamp module. Discard of the old lamp module. Your unit is now set for another 12 months. 
Thank you for choosing Pioneer. Have a great year. You know, he does it. Kenny does that so much better than I do. You know, pull that out. I keep forgetting you put the screwdriver in here, lift up a little, and the thing pops right out. I'm always trying to grab that when we change ours at home. Chris, this is uh, set up for this big studio, but you can get a, a, a bulb, uh, a new uh, uh, photo bulb, for a lower square footage, right? We change the intensity. Uh, we can adjust the coverage. You can start with like 100 square feet up to about 350 square feet, and you go from there to 350 square feet up to 750 square feet by adjusting okay. the lamp. And you do the same thing going from 750 up to 1,500 square feet. Again, there's another adjustment so that the active part of the technology is hitting on the target area. And that's what causes the product, the technology to work. Yeah, and there's no fan. By the way, this doesn't bring air in. This is, this is spewing good stuff to attract the bad stuff and zap it out of your, uh, out of your. Living well, room. Uh, you know the, 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 the pollutants in your home are all positively charged. All matter has either a positive or a negative charge to it. What we do with this technology is we generate a negatively charged ion. And just like with a magnet, the yep. positively charged pollutants attract the te technology to the pollutant and gets rid of it. So that's, that's how it works. It's such a great technology, friends. And by the way, Without fees or penalties, they'll finance this for the next six months for you. It's not expensive. I think it's a must. Now, as we exit today, here's another great tip from Pioneer. Bathroom. Every time you or a family member uses the restroom and does the simple task of flushing the toilet, particulate is introduced into the environment. Side stretches. Daniel's going to teach us how to do them. Do you ever get that little padding right here on your side? You know, it's going to help with those, I believe. And then we're going to talk to Dr. Bain about what's the optimum diet for a child to prevent obesity. So I've learned in my 13 or so years of, of being a coach and being a trainer that a lot of people have issues because they're weak or um, inelastic in certain areas. So if your lower back is bothering you, it might not be the lower back that's the problem, but rather the supporting muscles. And so today, we're gonna work on some side stretches here. Now, as you know, I'm huge on posture, so I wanna focus on shoulders being low, creating a long neck, shoulder blades touching together, and I wanna kinda squeeze my buns together holding an imaginary credit card. Now, you see how I went down and back and then get a little lean on. Okay, so here's perfect posture. Now what I wanna do is I just wanna go ahead and lean over to the side, okay? I'm gonna lean to my left and I'm gonna feel a great stretch here on the side like so. Again, my posture is perfect. This stretch only works if I have really good posture and I'm leaning to the left, okay? I'm gonna come back to center, double check my posture, make sure it's all nice and perfect, and then I'm gonna lean to my right. Now I'm feeling it right in through here. Now this is doing a few things. Number one, it's stretching, okay, which is releasing endorphins, and it's also helping the uh, toxins and things like that to kind of flee from the muscle. But more importantly, it's also teaching my brain what to turn on uh, over the course of the day. So it's not just my lower back helping me to move, but rather it's these super strong side muscles that are now awake and alert, and are aligned with my lower back. Now remember, it's, it's not always the muscles that you're having problems with, it's the muscles surrounding that muscle. And if you just wake them up a little bit, a lot of time you're gonna take stress off the muscle that's bothering you or hurting you. Thank you so much for checking in with us. We really, really appreciate it. Please go apply this in your life. We guarantee that you'll help. It'll help to mitigate pain. It'll help you just to feel better. I'm Daniel Crouch with your Lifestyle Moment. Know the cause. Dr. Deborah Bain joins me right now. Folks, obesity used to be a big person problem, right? Used to be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years old. But today it's a baby problem. Joining me right now is Dr. Deborah Bain, right here from Dallas, Texas. Thank you for joining us. Are you telling me you're seeing obese one and two year olds? It is, yes. 
and, and even younger. Children are coming out obese? Oh, no, no. Okay, that doesn't happen, but as they begin eating real food, uh, not so much mom's milk, but real food, they start gaining, gaining, gaining. Right. Okay, why? What's happening? I mean, I think it really boils down to the parents and how you know, every generation has gotten sicker and sicker. Every generation has sort of left the family dinner table and has just gone off to the, to the fast food restaurants. And then they're teaching the kids that this is, this is what we do. Now, your clinic recommends <clears throat> optimally a vaginal birth followed by breastfeeding. You don't see obesity. I mean, the kids, remember, they get, like, those little bubbles on their arm. They get, you know, right. they, they get stealth, I call it. Uh, but they don't become obese until they start eating regular food. Right. Is that because of the terrain in the gut that is being fed by the sugars in that food, do you think? I mean, I think if you look back at even, look at the formula, for example. I mean, there's high fructose corn syrup in yep. the formula. Good point. Okay, so that is, in that high carb, high sugar environment that was honestly not meant to be. I mean, it is a backup plan, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's always best for the mother to breastfeed as long as possible, mm -hmm. even into the second year, you know, third year of life, okay? Yeah. And then gradually start healthy food, starting with vegetables, fruits. But what's happening is they're starting with cereals, and then they get on toddler food diets, and then they're on the puffs. Exactly. They're on things that are devoid of any kind of nutrition, and that's, they're calling that food. And here's a weird thing. So when the child is overweight or morbidly obese, the mother will take them to a pediatrician. And folks, this is a different kind of pediatrician. This is a functional pediatrician. You have a dysfunctional patient. Figure out functionally what needs to be reversed and fix it. You brought in a slide here that I want to show the audience that kind of blew me away because I thought, well, we suffer from this globally. You know, kids are mm -hmm. just gaining more and more weight. And you say no. This is part of one of your presentations to Absolutely. the medical doctors. This, I don't know if you can see this, folks, but this is in 1970. You know, 12, 13, 14% of U.S. kids were obese. And look at down here in Korea. You know, I mean, there's just very little obesity. Mm -hmm. But look at our trend up to where it is today. And again, I, I want to go back to the pro. It's one thing to have me sit here and hypothesize. It's a whole other thing to have a real board-certified pediatrician sitting here telling us why kids 2, 3, 4, 6, 12 are obese like this. Why? What happens? Right. I mean, I think you have to look back at, you know, the standard American diet, right, is also known in our circles as the SAD diet. Okay? S-A-D that is going, an acronym. S-A-D, right. Yep. So that is going to be full of of uh, genetically modified right. nutrient poor wheat. It's going to be your refined sugars or sugars of any sort. Uh, it's going to be uh, your high omega-6 diet, mm -hmm. not as much omega-3. Omega-6 is more the pro-inflammatory. Omega-3 is more the, the fish, the nuts, the seeds, the things that our, our ancestors the good ate fat. most of. The good right. fats right. that we need. Do you still see kids drinking soda pop? I do. Are you serious? Not much in my practice, that, yeah. but certainly uh, that is a big problem. Yeah, and I can remember when we were little, folks. I'm going to come clean. I remember mom going to a discount store and buying 24 cans for, you know, a buck and putting them in the refrigerator, and all day we'd sip those. We didn't know back then, and look at what it did to me, right? <laughs> I had to detox a lot, but I came out okay. What percentage of your patients are obese? Very small amount. Because those because they are taught from the very beginning how to eat healthily. Okay. That's encouraging. Folks, Dr. Bain has a website I want you to go through, Healthy Kids Pediatrics, healthykidspediatrics.com. Or wait a minute, here's America, here's where she is. No matter where you live, you're a plane ride away if you're really concerned about your child's health. What functional pediatrics means is I'm going to stick with it and fix the problem instead of sending you to another doctor, another doctor, another doctor, or giving you another pill or shot, okay? Thank you for coming. Thank you.
You know, as I introduce this segment, you're going to meet Brittany and we're going to go downtown uh, Dallas here and introduce her to you. And then she's going to introduce you to a few new friends. And she just walks right up to him with her microphone and says, listen, if you're sick, do you take medication, mostly antibiotics, uh, or do you try natural approaches? Folks, what Know the Cause tries to teach you is if you're eating correctly, if you're planting the right seeds, you don't need all the doctor visits. And more and more, even the doctors are saying this. They're jumping on board with the proper diet. But we just randomly went up to people in the streets, and I think you'll find there are a younger audience she talked to, and I think you'll find the responses amazing. So let's go to downtown Dallas with Brittany right now. My name is Brittany and today we're going to be talking about mold, yeast, and fungus that's commonly found in our foods. Come on, let's go. So when you get sick, do you normally treat yourself with antibiotics or do you try to take a more holistic approach? I rarely use antibiotics. Usually you have to go to the doctor to get an antibiotic. I don't like the doctor, so it's usually more holistic for me. Holistic. I'm not, um, unless it's crucial, I'm not that big into pharmaceuticals. It's costly and I'm not sure that they're always uh, effective, um, absent a placebo effect. Usually home remedies work best for me, um, unless I'm deathly sick and I go to the doctor or the emergency room. Because we're sisters and we're Africans and we think that it's better that we go natural instead of taking antibiotics and medicine. Yeah, because the body tends to get used to it, so we just rather go the natural way. Do you take antibiotics when you get sick? No, not really. I just usually drink orange juice or I take a, a vitamin C, uh, um, airborne, and I'm good with that. It's great to see how the younger people feel about this. Folks, they're really on board with preventing the onset of flu, pneumonia, et cetera. I love that, vitamin C, orange juice, I'll do anything to take care of myself so I don't have to go on a medication. I kinda like that approach. That approach is gonna be different. Our website is one thing, it has grown tremendously. The social media is now growing beyond what we ever had in mind. Thank you for joining in and making that happen. You're gonna see the back end of this business, Know the Cause website and Facebook, just expand in the next few months. Thank you for making that happen. So that's kind of a wrap for today. Did you enjoy it? Will you tell a friend? This is interesting. Now you know how to change the lamp module in the Pioneer. Very important once a year do that. There's the telephone number. Pick up the phone, give them a buzz. Folks, he'll finance the unit for you. It's amazing what I spend on bottled water. This is so inexpensive. Uh, this probably needs to be in your home. If you have symptoms, you're wondering if they're linked to your home, put a unit in and give it a try. Thank you so much, Brittany, for going out to the street and learning what we learned. I thought it was just we oldsters that don't want to go to the doctor. The youngsters don't want to go to the doctor either, and they're willing to take supplements and orange juice and things like that to prevent it. And then finally, thank you so much, Dr. Deborah Bain. The right diet, start them young on the right diet, and maybe obesity can be erased from their history. God bless you folks, I'll see you next time, bye-bye.